I play a Latin lover. Um, no? I play a French school teacher. <laughs> it's a very different film than I actually thought we were making. It's weird. And we're just old ex, ex-husband and ex-wife, you know, don't, are mad at each other. We can't give a straight answer to anything. Yeah. I love George. I just love him. I love everything about him. I think he's just a, a first-class human being, and I... Just wait for it. It's coming. I, no, it's coming. No. It's coming. No. Now she's. We're really, really good friends, yeah. and it's fun to be able to work together. Uh, dancing the together. The dancing was, really, was yeah, fun. Yeah, good. Because we actually humiliated all the young actors. <laughs> we literally humiliated. They were. They were literally watching, going, "Oh my God!" It's the quietest any of them have ever, ever been. been. Yeah, it was fun. Anytime you can embarrass, you know, young people. Yeah. Do it. Because. Uh, the company, Working Title, that produced this film, gives a free car to anyone who goes to see Don't, the film. Do you know the trouble you're free causing car. right now? You just you buy your ticket and then you take it to any car dealership no, just in, anywhere see in it England. Because we did our best to make people laugh and have a good time at the movies. And you get a free car. And you have to buy your own ticket and buy your own dinner and get in your own car and drive yourself home, hopefully smiling. <laughs> It feels incredible to be here for the world premiere in London. I feel so grateful to be able to celebrate our movie here and um, I haven't been back in a while and it feels always, it's always good to come to London, but um, especially with our whole cast, it's, um, it's really nice to be able to celebrate tonight. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely insane. I still am shocked by it. I, I saw, I, I mean, I was coming from the airport and I saw a billboard of Ticket to Paradise. And it's still shocking to me that I am in this movie with them and that they play my parents. So it's it's mind blowing. It's mind blowing. So many things. I think that in terms of uh, my my character, she's someone that really puts a lot of expectations on herself and pressure, and um, takes this trip to Bali and realizes and meets this man named Gade and realizes that maybe she was looking at life. Um, maybe the wrong way or just was able to like change her perspective because of him and um, and she discovers a lot about herself which I really loved a lot. Being on an island with George Clooney and Julia Roberts, I mean, I mean there's so many things, it was so much fun. I, I, I can't even tell you how how much of a dream dream this movie was. Fans can expect to it really just have the best time, have a really, really good laugh, um, to just have a lot of fun and maybe a little bit of emotion, um, which is a good thing. And I think this is a movie that everybody's really been needing for a while. I'm really happy and really going to enjoy the movie you know, that we made a year ago. Just really happy. Oh, it was, it was nerve-wracking. I mean, the whole time I was just... It was surreal because I've known George Clooney's work since I was a little boy, you know? And I never thought I was ever gonna play a movie with him or even with uh, Julia. So it was surreal and uh, it was an honor. And I mean, there were pros, so it was super easy for me to play as well. Like coming from a background where I was just playing Indonesian movies, uh, to be playing a first English movie with George Clooney and Julia Robert, they kind of made me feel at ease. So yeah, it was wonderful. Well, I, I, I thought it was every day. I mean, the first day we were doing the boat scene and that was like big and like usually when you have like a whole like boat scene or like a whole, you know, like a traveling scene, it's more, it's very complicated. So that was the first day and uh, I don't know, I thought I thought everything went well, but it's always like, like, oh, I'm driving the boat now and I have to follow this like three big boat and stuff, you know, like with the camera on it. So that was pretty memorable and it was also the first day, you know, and you see George Clooney, I'm like, okay, George Clooney's life and Caitlin Deaver's life is on my hands, you know. So yeah, yeah, yeah it, was, it was pretty memorable. All called me that day, he was like, um, hey Max, so I want to be the first one to tell you you got the part. I was like, oh wow, I didn't, you know, but I was just happy. I was, I was, I was completely, I called everyone, everyone, all my friends in Bali because I, I did grow up in Bali and the fact that I was gonna do a movie about Bali, you know, kind of uh, reminded me of my roots because I do live in Jakarta now, which is not in Bali, you know, so it was very, it was a very, like, important moment and, yeah, it was, 
it was great. I am so excited to be at this world premiere. It's actually so surreal and crazy and just, I am stoked. I, that I, I said stoked means I'm really stoked. Ren is Lily's best friend and I like to call her a wild ride of a character. She really goes with the flow of everything and is just so excited that Lily is following her heart. And she was just so much fun to play. I really got to like improv and mess around. And my motto on the movie was more is more, because it always is. <laughs> I think I silent screamed. I think I was like, wait, are we sure we're sending this email to the right person? And they were like, yes, it's for you. And I was like, wait, are we sure it's me? Like, are you sure? Like, you didn't spell something wrong. Like, this is not right. It was just so exciting and insane and surreal. And then getting to work with them was even better than the email was. And the email was insane. Caitlin is one of my closest friends in real life. So to get to play her best friend on screen is just an absolute dream. I am obsessed with her and we got even closer on this movie. I'm obsessed with her family. I'm obsessed with her. I'm obsessed with her dog. I just love everything about that girl. She is heavenly. Well, they should expect some beautiful scenery, some beautiful people. I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about those movie stars and Caitlin Deaver and just a really good time. It's really escapist and fun and something we really have needed for a while and don't get that often. It feels insane to be here in the world premiere. It's a thrill. It's exciting and brilliant. And the guys came over and that's amazing. So, um, and it's a good night and the weather's great. It's all good. You beg, you beg, you kneel down to get this cast together. You do nothing but beg. Yeah, no, I wrote them a letter pleading with them. And I did the really terrible thing. I wrote to them both at once, saying I was offering it to both of them, which you never do, because if one of them turns it down, the other one will. But thankfully, they both relented and said yes, they took pity on me. I have two daughters, and they're just at that age, and they're just getting on with their lives, and I'm having to let them go. And so, yeah, very much that. It's indecently fun. It was written for a big screen. I, I mean, it's lovely to get people out, because there's nothing like laughing in a room with lots of people. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's got gorgeous movie stars, and hopefully a nice location, and. It's widescreen and beautiful, but in the end, there's no feeling like sitting in a room with a lot of people laughing, and comedies just don't work as well in your sitting room or on a plane. You know what I mean?